Hey folks, Mike North here on 30 and 5 on 560WIND.com. I'm your congenial host every single day. Appreciate everybody coming to the site. Appreciate uh, WIND publicizing it. John and Amy in the mornings. My guy Steve Cochran in uh, the afternoons. Check out the wonderful, wonderful uh, personalities on uh, this station. Hey, you know what? President Obama, you're, you're above having rabbit ears. Or, or hearing things. Uh, Jan Brewer meets him at the airport, who's the governor of Arizona. They've had a contentious relationship because, you know, she's suing the United States of America because of the uh, immigration policy that she tried to pass that uh, uh, President Obama is blocking, uh, it, it, along with the USA government, saying it's not fair and this and that. Anyway, they meet at the tarmac, and Obama says, I heard what you said about me in your book. She's got a book out. And I guess she said something that, you know, was maybe he didn't feel was right. or He didn't read it. He heard it. Mr. President, this isn't like the health care policy where Nancy Pelosi said, listen, let's pass it and then we'll read it later. If you hear something, read it. Anyway, uh, they're saying President Obama can't, can't a little bit thin-skinned. Uh, White House is denying it, but it's become somewhat of a story. It's amazing to me. And she, they have a picture of Jan Brewer. And you know how people always go, hey, you know, they're waving their finger. I don't think she was doing anything bad. But Obama walks away from her in mid-sentence. I guess that about explains everything, doesn't it? Automakers have been told in California, 75% less emissions in 2025. Was Fred Flintstone with the feet going to run the cars? 70 that's why california is the worst state in the union that's why they haven't built a new nuclear plant in over 30 years that's why they're going bankrupt now if you own a car company or if you have cars and you want them to run in california you have to cut the emissions by 75 percent well we're gonna have hamsters inside the engine when they fart it's gonna be okay what a joke that 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 state is a joke 2025 believe me that thing might be overturned um Bill Gates, what a guy, what a guy. Billy Gates, can I call him Billy and his lovely wife? Bill Gates has just donated, amongst the billions he's already donated, $750 million uh, to cure AIDS, a brand new disease, if you will, pretty, you know, recent, and old school diseases, ladies and gentlemen, malaria and tuberculosis. So you got the AIDS over here, brand new. Well, it's not brand new, but it's recent vintage, if you will. And you got the malaria and the TB that was prevalent back in the 60s and 70s, still lurking, especially in uh, Africa and uh, other third world nations. Joe Paterno. Oh, by the way, Bill Gates, good job. Joe Paterno being memorialized today at Penn State, turning crowds away, packed. Should be uh, uh, really great. Hundreds of his players came back to check out uh, the wake and the memorial, the viewing at Penn State. Uh, uh, people saying, we love you, Joe. Uh, you were the best, Joe. You're Penn State, Joe. Uh, in the meantime, the faculty of Penn State voted like 140 to 68 that the board should stay on. Let's see if they can handle this problem, if they're capable. Any other board would have been let go. Any other board during a scandal like that. But at Penn State, they're still playing politics. Business as usual. Joe Paterno's fired, but the board keeps their jobs. Out of line. In about 19 different ways. That's bad. Hey, we got some good news. Stock's up. Don't give many stock reports. You might have to start that. Caterpillar and 3M showed uh, quarterly improvements. Uh, big time. Uh, so you know what? Uh, give them credit. So it's good to see the stock market has some uh, companies performing well. In the meantime, the jobless numbers are up again. But like President Obama said the other night, everything's fine. Anybody who thinks this country's not the greatest? I think this country's the greatest, but I don't think everything's fine, Mr. President. So, you know, you glossed over it. The jobless number's up again. Caucasian man, doing very, very well. Make sure you check it out with Mike Ditka uh, here on uh, norththenorth.com, N-O-R-T-H-T-O-N-O-R-T-H.com. White Sox Fest coming up this weekend. And it's the 30th anniversary of the 1972 team. They will be wearing the red uniforms with the red pinstripes during home games on Sunday this year. Why wouldn't they wear the powder blues on the road? Jerry, come on. Give me a call. Powder blue. Let's go with it. 
Uh, also, the Bulls lose last night to Indiana. Luol Dang didn't play. The Bulls look sort of listless last night. Today, the weather's absolutely beautiful. Check out the uh, weather around your areas. And thanks so much for joining us here on 560WIND.com. Have a great day. Flood Brothers Disposal and uh, Recycling Services are professional waste haulers. Now, the Flood family is big on service. It's our number one priority, and we offer extremely competitive pricing because the Flood family is here to help you in this tough economy. Remember, at Flood Brothers, we build relationships, and the only thing we're big on is service. Call us at 773-626-5800 or floodbrothersdisposal.com.